guys, so today I'm going to be doing my absolute favorite luxury products that I feel like you need in your collection. Um, this is just makeup, it's not like uh, designer, um, you know, bags and things like that. It's just makeup. Um, none of this is like outrageously priced either, so it's a good mix like of prices. So let's just get started. So you know that I'm a drugstore girl like all the way, but I do have some of my luxury favorites and there's not too many, but these are the products that I feel like I cannot live without. So let me just start off with this foundation and I don't use this foundation every single day. I do use a drugstore one, but if you do want to get a high-end foundation or you're in the market for one, this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation is fantastic. It's extremely, extremely lightweight as it says in the name of the, you know, foundation. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And um, yeah, I just use my drugstore one because I prefer that one, but this one is just as good or maybe even better. I just, it just has more coverage and right now I don't really need that. For concealer, I have the Benefit, Benefit, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is way better than Tarte Shape Tape in my opinion because um, that one's too drying for me. I do have dry skin. Um, so this is just the better version and more hydrating. And this has lasted me forever. As you can tell, it's a pretty dark shade. So I use this to spot conceal, but under your eyes, it looks flawless too. So I'm about to run out of this. So I think I'm gonna purchase it in this shade to spot conceal and then buy a lighter one for underneath my eyes because honestly, this is just the best high-end concealer in my opinion. Cream bronzer, I've been raving about this product. It's the Milk Makeup Bronzer. Uh, the cream bronzer and this is amazing I love it so much I did get pretty much ripped off because I thought that I was purchasing the big bottle I should have read it but um, this was $15 for this tiny little thing um, it did come broken so they sent me another one so I have two now which is fine I guess like that kind of justifies how much I paid for it but next time I'm gonna get the I think it's like $25 $28 I'm not really sure but it's huge and it's really fantastic for cream contouring. I replaced it so quickly with my Anastasia one. This is just a hundred times better. For the face, I've always raved about this even before I started YouTube. I'm gonna show you my new one because the other one is just so ugly. The bronzer, the blush, and the highlight, amazing. This is the Becca Chloe Malika palette um, from Becca Cosmetics and this is just amazing. It has been on sale for a long time now, so I would recommend buying like two of these. I've had this in stock like for a long time. I This is my first or se I think this is my second palette and I've had this for probably over a year and I use this every single day. As you can tell, the bronzer is gone and the blushes are pretty much gone. I hit pan on the highlight. The highlight's great. I do have a couple more highlighters, but I know. Ooh. I need to have backups of this because this just can't ever go away. I love it and it's great for travel. Next up, I would consider this high end. This is the Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade Balm, I believe. Yeah, and it's just this shade. I'm wearing it today. So beautiful, I love it. Um, this is gonna last you forever. I use this every single day and it doesn't even look like I made a dent in it. Um, so yeah, I really love this and I also love the Tarte exposed highlighter that's what it looks like this is more of like a topper if you like a subtle highlight this is not for you honey if you don't like a little bit of glitter this is not for you so this is very intense and literally gonna last you forever i've had this since like freshman year of high school and i'm a sophomore in high school or in college now so honest and that, that's probably not sanitary but it works and i'm gonna keep using it <laughs> For the face, I use this a decent amount of time, but this is the product that I like the most in the middle. It's a soft focus powder, so it adds like a nice glow. Great for summer. The highlights are fantastic too in here, but this is just a great all over face palette. palette. I, was about, I was mixing palette and powder together, but this is great for the summertime, um, even winter too, because it gets dry, your skin. Um, but. Honestly, I love this. I love glow, so this is just top notch. 
For my eyebrows, you already know, this is the Anastasia uh, Brow Powder Duo in the shade Taupe. I've been through a million of these, um, last a lifetime. I probably started using this in December and I'm not even done with it yet, so it is worth your money. And this is the only eyebrow product I really use. Eye primer, I would also consider this high-end just because it's not like cheap. So this is the P. Louise Base in the shade 0.5, I believe. Um, I love this. I don't really use eye primer when I do something like simple like today. I just put bronzer in my crease, but when I do something complex and things like that and I want the pigmentation to be there 100%, this is the best primer in my eyes. Last but not least, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette and this is the Tati Beauty Palette. Again, it is not cheap, but it is not too expensive to where it's like not affordable. This is just stunning. I love it. I have to shout her out. She's great. I love her products. Um, and yeah, this is so worth your money. The shades are just... Everything behind this palette is so nice and beautiful and thoughtful. Um, and I love a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but this is the one that I gravitate towards the most. And that is a little bit on the higher end scale. But for lip products, I'm not going to mention any because I did have a lot of high-end products in my nude lip video. So if you want to know what my favorite high-end lips are and drugstore, go check that video out. Um, and that was one of my most highly requested videos. So please go check that out. But other than that, that was all my luxury products. As you know, I'm a drugstore girl, but I do love my luxury. So these are the products that I think I cannot live without and yeah. So if you guys like any of these products or want to try any of these products or do try any of these products, let me know what you think down below. Again, everybody's skin is different. So some things that work for me might not work for you and vice versa. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, a lot of good different content is coming. So just be aware for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.